Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We have a big unboxing today of a product that I have been waiting for for some time. So my copy of Advanced Squad Leaders Hollow Legions and the Desert Rules for ASL have been uh, in the old Avalon Hill versions for some time. The counters are old and gross, and they are in some cases kind of worn, and they are harder to read. So I have been looking forward to Multiman Publishing, revising and republishing Hollow Legions. So this is a, it is the Italian module for Advanced Squad Leader, uh, contains the entire Italian order of battle, as well as the Desert Rules, and it is now here. So it is in the big three-inch box, and we're going to open her up and take a look at her. There's a whole lot of stuff in here, this is not going to be an incredibly fast unboxing, so buckle up. So let's open her up and see what we get. This is another one that is timely, so I am um, unboxed again on Thursday night for release on Friday morning, which means I have to do video editing this evening. Yay. Okay, so, big box. <clears throat> Standard multi-man box. I do feel like these are maybe a little thicker than they used to be. That, I might be nuts about that, frankly. All right, so, <clears throat> Hollow Legion's 2021 edition should contain a box and a lid, eight. 8 by 22 inch ASL maps, 8 sheets of overlays, 5 counter sheets, 53 ASL scenarios, Chapter F, North Africa, Italian Chapter H, Replacement Rulebook Pages, A55 through A62, and the Chapter F Divider. Alright, so, card aside, let's first of all do our disassembly, and then we'll actually examine all of the stuff. Okay, so here's our Italian Chapter H vehicle notes. Not, not a huge section. Uh, but my, you know, mine are super old, so. Um, one of the things that this version does is it turns the former escarpment overlay into an escarpment map board, which is a great idea because that escarpment overlay was basically almost as big as the entire board, and this is that board. This is board 25E. And you'll notice that I think all the boards in here are going to be desert boards, so... We've got a counter sheet, which has already fallen apart, I see, of Italians. Another map board. More Italians. Another map board. Here's some overlays, probably the entire stack of overlays. So we'll take a look at those in due time. Another map board. Here are the errata rules pages. Looks like they are... Actually, I'm not sure they're errata. They might be, though. They might be... Well, they're, they're updated one way or the other. So uh, we have more boards, more counters, a fat stack of scenarios, right? This is where the joy in these things are, in my opinion. And, of course, we get plenty of these multi-man blank sheets of paper because at multi-man, they hate trees. So... Here's the chapter F divider, I think. Yeah, okay. Take a look at that. Here is, I believe these to be Allied Minor Ethiopians, I think. So this includes a um, mini historical module called Soldiers of the Negus, which I believe takes place in Italian East Africa. Uh, but I don't see, I assume everything I need for that is on the scenario cards. And here's our North Africa Chapter F. Okay, nice thick paper on this. It's all full color. It's all loose leaf. Um, I'm one of those people that thinks it's time for Multiman to get away from publishing this stuff the same way Avalon Hill did in the 80s. But they're not, you know, they didn't call me. So I guess we'll continue to see it getting published this way. All right, so here's the overlay board, the, the, the escarpment board, I should say. Here is a board that's basically blank desert. Here's another one. That's board number 26. Here's board number 27, which is mostly open desert. Board number 28, which is, again, mostly open desert. Board number 29... Board number 30. And these are all what we call the um, 
the starter kit style boards, meaning they're on cardstock instead of being on that mounted stock. But I don't care about that. I would just assume them they be. Uh, that's interesting. It does look like I, in fact, have two copies. Oh, no, that's not true. There's a 25 and a 25E. So what the hell's the difference? Ah, okay, so this is the Desert Hills. This is the escarpment that stacks on top of the hills. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, good. Everything is good. So let's stow these large number of boards. Once again, more ASL stuff that I am going to struggle to store, um, which has been an ongoing ASL problem for quite a while, one which I really do need to step it up and find a solution for. We're going to go through, I think, the scenarios last, so let's look at the rules here real quick. So here's our Chapter F North Africa stuff. Okay. We do have some new terrain types um, in uh, Hamada is one of them. Scrub is one of them. I think there's a couple other ones. The Wadi is another terrain feature unique to the desert. There's Wadi Cliffs. And some of these, I mean, these some of these terrain types are quite complicated. Sand dunes, arid weather, separate chart for that. Okay. DYO desert overlay table. So it's all part of chapter F, though. Here's our Hollow Legions credits. So this combines the Italian and desert stuff that was in the original ASL from Avalon Hill module west of Alamein, which was pretty much the British stuff, but it also had the desert rules in it with the Italian stuff in the original Hollow Legions. So here's our um, divider here. Dust tables, arid climate. On the back we have a desert terrain chart. As you can see, there's quite a lot of desert terrain and a couple of things that look like they may behave differently in the desert than they normally would. Uh, but those are summarized here. It's a lot, it's, you know, it's ASL. You're going to get a lot of complexity. Here's our uh, extra replacement chapter A pages with the 2021 dates on it. And, and unlike uh, the counters, which I probably won't get to put away for weeks, I will actually take the new rulebook pages and put them right in the rulebook because I don't want to lose track of them. So here's our, like, 10, whatever, 10 sheets of overlays. Uh, it looks like eight sheets of overlays. It says Hollow Legion's three which would be this is the third version of hollow legions a multiband did do one of the earlier printings but it was basically identical to the avalon hill uh printing at that point so these look like desert or sand dunes or something i can't identify any of these i've never played asl in the desert these would probably be the sand dunes i would think you get these dry riverbeds here more sand dunes with some some kind of dividing feature. So a big stack of overlays. Those, those will go right in the overlay box. And then the Italian vehicle notes, which looks like we got about, I don't know, 15 pages or something like that. A lot of historical... Uh, th these are, by the way, rich with historical detail and, and pretty interesting to read if you're into this kind of thing. Italian ordinance notes... Here's our DYO charts. So that is going to finally replace the ancient uh, Italian pages that I currently had. Looking at the counters. Looks like there are five sheets of counters. One of which is this Allied Minor stuff. And they're in the Allied Minor color anyway. And... I can't vouch for any of the names of the officers here, but I, I, I take these to be Ethiopians in this particular case, okay? Um, okay, here is some desert markers, including vehicle dust, Sanger, uh, hillock summits, some either horses, or they look like horses actually, um, some markers here for different weather types, and of course then our Italian guns and stuff. 
I do have uh, the Italians are one of the OBs that I have done and you know all organized and stuff in the in the old um, version. So I'll have to put those in a big baggie and redo them with the newer counters. Now, it's hard to tell with the vehicles, but the but the the print is clearer on the new personnel counters and a little bit bigger as well. It does it does make a difference. Um, I, you know, have, I'm now one of those people who has eye problems, so, um, it's really nice when games have counters that I can read, and I'm still relatively forgiving about it, but, uh, not as forgiving as I used to be, because I can't be. All right, so, there is almost half an inch of scenarios here, so let's start going through that. It's a lot. ASL Scenario 35, Blazon Chariots. Libya, 1941, 19 November, second day of Operation Crusader, okay? We're actually playing that out, well, we played it out a couple of weeks ago. Rachi Ridge, uh, Island of Leros, uh, November 1943, okay, that's interesting, Germans versus British. Kemsen, uh, near Tobruk, June 1942, British versus Germans. And... So we're getting the desert scenarios, too, as well as the Italian-specific scenarios, and that's why. So here's Escape from Derna. Uh, Derna, Libya, 1941, Germans and British. Here's page two of Escape from Derna. Here's Turning the Tables, Mursa el Brega, Libya, 1941, March 1941. Fort McGregor, Tunisia, 1943. British and Germans. Oops. Point of no return. Ooh, here's here's another biggie here. And we're seeing a lot more of these now, these like multi-card scenarios in the last couple of ASL products that I've unboxed. Um, so this is uh, C.D. Rejeg, uh 1941, November 1941. So this is Op Crusader as well. A bridgehead too wet. West of Wadi Zigzao, Tunisia. Don't don't quote me on any of these pronunciations. 22 March 1943, Germans and British. Here's more point of no return. The taking of Tukruna, Tunisia 1943, Italians and British. Actually, Italians and New Zealanders. Too little, too late, Parma, Italy. Uh, 9 September 1943, Germans versus Italians. That's very interesting. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. So this would be after Italian surrender. So that's actually a really interesting looking scenario. It's not a lot of stuff, though. It's it's some vehicles, a decent number of vehicles, actually, versus some German infantry. That's interesting. A high price to pay. Syracuse, Sicily, 1943. Bridge to Nowhere, Ukraine, 1941. What the hell boards are these? 19... Ah, okay, this is the Italians on the East Front. Okay, Russians and Italians, interesting. Okay, cool. That's cool. Retribution. I got that right, yeah. Retribution. Palma di Monte Chiaro, Sicily, 11 July 1943. Italians versus Americans. Half a chance, Bir el Gubi, Libya, our relatively famous place in that campaign, November 1941, so another Operation Crusader. These are definitely not in numerical order. And we can see there's some notes on these. This scenario has been updated from its original version, too. Um, British and Italians on this one. And boy, that's a lot of map, too. Six map boards. Wow. Okay. And retribution we got. The Battle for Rome, Porta San Paolo. Uh, Rome, 10 September 1943, Italians versus Germans. Another one of these things. I didn't expect to get quite this many of these. Um, C. Arendiamo, okay. Uh, C. D. Soleil, um, Libya, 1941, February 1941. So super duper early. British versus Italians, as you'd expect back in in that uh, with that, with those dates. Uh, okay, so here's start. We're starting to get into the mini AS, historical ASL. I don't know if we want to call it a historical ASL because it doesn't have a historical map. You're playing it on the same isometric map boards. Uh, but here we have Ethiopians and Eritreans, so Italian colonials versus Ethiopians, and it's a decent, pretty big scenario actually, on two boards. And this is 1935. Here we have 
Crinites Escape, also Ethiopia 1935. And again, we have Ethiopians this time versus actual, well, non-colonial Italians, I guess. Uh, the Bitwoded Gamble, Ethiopia 1936, Italians and Ethiopians. The Golden Mountain, the Tembian Ethiopia, 27 February 1936, Italians and Ethiopians. So there's a lot here, actually. So it looks like the Soldiers of the Negus looks like it's more of a scenario set rather than a historical module. So if I have called it a historical module, it turns out that I am incorrect. Um, Circle the Wagons, near Selaklaka, the Shire, Ethiopia, 20, 29 February 1936, uh, Ethiopians and Italians. Kabur Zabang, Zabagna, or Zabanya, uh, my Q, Ethiopia, 20, 31 March, 1936. I'm struggling so hard over the names. I'm losing attention span on the, uh, on the dates. Eritreans versus Ethiopians. The Wells of Borgat. Borgat, the Ogaden, Ethiopia, 1936. Ethiopians and Italians. Last Hope at New Flower, Addis Ababa, e Ethiopia. I remember that because it's in Superman movie. 28 July 1936, Italians and Ethiopians. Across the Wire, and you can see we're getting into big numbers here. Uh, near Nesvet Girba, Libya, 1940. Okay, so we're back to the desert here uh, in, Libyan, uh, in Libya with the Italians and the British. Showdown at Tug Argan Pass. This is Somaliland, actually, in 1940. Italians versus British. That's interesting, too. What boards are we using there? 25 and 31. I think 20... I don't remember whether those are boards we got in this game or not. Um, Camp Nebewa, uh, near Bir Enba, Egypt, 1949, December 1940. Operation Compass. Um... They're here, reverse, Beta Fom, Libya, that famous engagement. There's a few games just on this. Uh, British versus Italians in February 1941. Men of the Mountains. Very interesting. Italians versus Partisans, versus Montenegrin Partisans. Um, on some unpronounceable road in Montenegro, 13 July 1941. Nocturnal Attrition, C.D. Rejeg again in Libya, 1941, November. Italians and New Zealanders. Cutting out a strong point. Halfaya Pass, Egypt, 19 December 1941. Uh, looks like we have mixed German and Italian force versus South Africans here. That's very interesting. Um, Savoya, you can actually probably play this out using brazen chariots if you like. Um, Savo actually, does it give me the yeah elements of uh, 51st Divisione? Uh, Savona and German Infantry Regiment 104. So you could play this out with um, brazen chariots, actually. Uh, Savoya. Uh, again, Russia with Russians versus Italians and horses. More Savoya. A line in the sand. Okay, this is Egypt. So what is this? Consists of three consecutive scenarios that can be played individually or as part of a mini campaign. Rommel's Remedy, Egypt's Last Hope, and Twisted Knickers. Okay, and they got their own tables here, so so you can do that. And here's Rommel's Remedy, sixty factors of mines, Egypt's Last Hope, and Twisted Knickers. Okay, and then the Art of Dying. Uh, once again, Russians uh, and Italians on the East Front. Castello Fatato, uh, Meshkov, Russia, 20 December 1942, Russians versus Italians. The Valley of Death, Arbazov, Russia, 24 December 1942, Russians versus a... Yeah, mixed, uh, mixed force, actually, of Germans and Italians. Village of the Damned, uh, once again, Russia. Axis versus Russian. There's a lot of interesting scenarios here, actually. There's a lot of scenarios with mixed sides. Um, there's a, a number of sequential scenarios you can play together as a mini campaign. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in the Italian on the Italian campaign in 1935 and 1936 uh, in Ethiopia. So there's a, there's a lot of interesting scenarios here. This is, again, uh, mixed Italians and Germans 
um, with some counterattack groups here too. So that's just going to be an interesting mechanic versus First Guard's army. Victory is life, East Front. A lot more East Front stuff in here than I expected. But then again, one of the things that Multi-Man has been doing here is, with their new printings of these games, is to bring out all the old scenarios that fit into the box, right? That, that not physically fit into the box, but fit into the theme of the box, which in this case is Italians. So they're giving us a lot of extra Italian scenarios that weren't necessarily in the original Hollow Legions. Red Dawn, East Front... Ghost Riders, East Front, Agony at Arno, Arno Tovo, Tovo. a hor horrifying pronunciation of that, Russia, 24 January 1943, Italians versus Russians, Ghost Riders again, uh, Tridentina Avanti, uh, Nikolaevka, 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 Russia, 26 January 1943, the last day of the Kunins. Kunins? I don't know what that means. This is the Kunins division. Okay. Um, so that's the end of them then. Gift of Time. Four boards, big scenario, a lot of space, uh, not that much stuff. Crisis at Kasserine, Kasserine Pass, Tunisia. This is Allied versus Axis. It looks like this is a multi card deal here. Yep, here's the other one. Uh, so we have. British and Americans, or Commonwealth at least, and Americans, along with Italians and Germans. Um, this looks like a quite a large scenario, actually. There's a decent number of vehicles. Uh, looks like 23 uh, Allied squads and a similar number of Axis squads. That's a big scenario. Um, on the back of that is Recon in Force, Porto Empedocles, Sicily, 16 July 1943. That's going to be Americans. Danger Forward, Sicily, Americans versus Italians. This is uh, Cremora and Palermo. Flea Circus, Mezzo Camino, Italy, 8 September 1943, Italians versus Germans. There's also more of these scenarios than I expected there to be. All Roads Lead to Rome. Uh, this looks quite like there's quite a lot going on. Uh, we have a Neat little zigzag board configuration here. That's intriguing. And the hunters become the hunted. Okay, so in no sense am I going to try and put this all back in the box right now because the scenario cards are going in this with the scenarios and the overlays are going in the overlay box and the rule book stuff is going in the rule book. So uh, this has been a rather lengthy flip through of Hollow Legions, the brand new ASL release from Multi Man Publishing. Hopefully you have enjoyed watching it. If so, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please do click the bell icon to get notified when new content comes out. And if you'd like to help more to support our Wolf Slayer, please do check out the links in the video description to the Patreon, the merch store, and the Ko-Fi. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy wargaming.